Hello. I thought I would review what is addition and subtraction with exchanging, which you see on your work plan in case you forgot or you don't know how we taught it. This is addition with exchanging. Exchanging meaning one of the answers is greater than 10. If your child's a second level, they were doing these abstractly in their head, pencil to paper. Whereas in first level, they had practice with materials. So they'd start here, adding nine plus two and getting 11. And we like to remind them that 11 is a two digit number and we never write a two digit number answer in a box. We look at 11 and it's a one unit and a 110. So we write our one unit as our answer and the 10 becomes our exchange. So then we move to the tens, three plus two plus one, which is six. Then we move to the hundreds, five plus five, which is 10. And again, 10 being a two digit number, 10 hundreds, which is zero hundreds and 1,000. So we put our zero here and our one exchange and we add three plus one plus one. So our math problem 3,529 plus 1,532 equals 5,061. Usually they do about three or four of these problems each time they practice and have them say the problem and the answer. Subtraction with exchanging is a little bit trickier and you might find that if you haven't been practicing this skill, you may or may not really remember exactly how to do it. But again, we always start with the units. If I have four, can I take away seven? No. So I have to go to the tens where I can borrow a 10. I can cross that out and put a one there because I'm gonna take one 10 from the tens and I'm gonna give that to the units. We add 10 by just putting a 10 in front, it's the easiest way. So now I have 14 subtract seven. This is where we get to those math facts. If you find your students having trouble with these sort of subtraction problems, using a number line, making marks on a paper, however they can get that answer is okay. So I know that 14 subtract seven is seven. Now I go to my tens, one subtract one is zero. Five subtract three is two. Three subtract one is two. Again, this they should be pretty comfortable with this if they have a little bit of review. And this one is a skill we'd like them to have by the end of second grade. So when we left school in March, a lot of kids are really starting to get this concept and to do it. So this one, when you're practicing, might take a little bit of work. Let me know if you need any help. Have a good day.